Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Andy and today I'm starting a brand new Let's Play and it's something a bit obscure this time. This is Gumboots Australia which is a educational adventure game uh, made back in 1990 by Reckon Software. This is essentially a clone of Car Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego except it's set in Australia and you play the role I guess you could say as an private investigator of sorts. And the idea is to travel around Australia solving certain cases and doing certain jobs for various people. So it's about learning about Australia, learning about geography of Australia, bits and pieces, history, whatnot. Um, and as you can see it's in glorious four colour. We have pink, we have cyan, we have white and black and that is it. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, get into it. This is running on DOSBox. So I've got to make a new player. And here we go, Andy. G'day Andy, it looks like you haven't played before, so you can start with game one. Good luck. Okay, this is the introduction. So every mission has a little introduction narrative to get you on your way and give you the first hint. So it says, this is a very easy game, just to get you started. You are an investigator with the Gumboots Inquiry Agency. Your first job is to find two troublesome programmers, Ian and John, who live near the most easterly point of the Australian mainland. Your boss has given you a $1,000 advance, but has only allowed you a couple of days to complete the task. When you have found John and Ian, you will receive your first paycheck for $800. The hint is look up easterly in the database or look at the big map. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn on sound, which is a, a lovely, especially mach machine sound, which is emulated through DOSBox. I'm hoping the volume won't be too loud, but I think even though the sounds, well, they're very rudimentary, uh, otherwise it's going to be very silent apart from my voice. So I'm going to add them just for a bit of character, a bit of flavor. Okay, so we're currently in Uluru. That is Ayers Rock, which is pretty much right in the middle of Australia. I'm going to get to the most easterly point of the mainland. So what we can do is we go to the big map. And the most eastern point of the big map is Byron Bay, which is one pixel uh, further east than the Gold Coast. So that's going to be our destination. So let's go to a new place. We scroll down to Byron Bay. Now, Byron Bay is the most easterly point on the Australian mainland, a popular tourist spot famous for its lighthouse and surfing beaches. For every journey, they give you three options. You can either car, bus, or plane it. Uh, plane being the fastest but the most expensive. Bus is the cheapest but the slowest. And the car is usually in between. It's only the first game and I've got two and a bit days to get there. So I'm just going to take the bus and save the money. 46 hour trip from Uluru to Byron Bay. And there's those lovely sounds I was talking about. All right, so I've made it to Byron Bay. It's 8.30 in the morning on January the 1st. My deadline is 5 p.m. So I've got the whole day to find uh, the two programmers. To do that, we investigate the town. And there's four options to investigate. And unless you know which one it is, you just go through one by one. So let's ask around the surf shops. And that sounded good. It says Ian. No, so, sorry, it says yes. Ian is a keen surfer, but you have tracked him down. It looks like you are going to make a great gumboots investigator. Okay. So there's one found, one to go. Uh, let's visit the lighthouse. And it says, well done. You have found John. The light up here is quite bright, and you seem to be fairly bright too. Alright, so there's two riders found, and that is the first mission done. Again, it's only introductory mission, the game does get a bit more uh, involved than that. Congratulations, you have solved your easiest case. Easy, wasn't it? The next game is a bit harder, and after that the cases start to get, start to get really tough to solve. That sounds a little bit distracting. Okay. So uh, you receive your final payment of $800 for completing the task, plus your $100 for each bonus point you have left. This adds $1,800 to your bank roll. Okay, so now I've got two and a half grand in the bank. 
So I made a bit of a profit that time. I started with 1,000 and I got 2,500. And it says, you finish this game and you will now go into the next game. That is the first mission, the first quest, the first investigation done in Gumbit Australia. Again, there's only a tutorial game just to give you the really, really basics of what you have to do. Obviously, as the game goes on, it gets a bit more involved. There's a few more things you actually can do to investigate rather than just go to the map and travel to the point they tell you to go to. Uh, but we'll find that out when we come across it. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. I do hope you will enjoy this trip down our memory lane. It's definitely a nostalgia trip, this one, that is for sure. Uh, and this will definitely, as a, as a recording, the oldest game I've played being 30 years old now. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Let's see if I can get through the whole game. Until next time, though, thanks for watching. Thank you.